released the 20th of August 2020 by a one-man dev team Monster Tooth Studios out of Seattle, Dungeons of Adera, based on that fact alone, is probably the most impressive game I've played all year. I've played a lot this year, and I'm not saying this is the overall best, but come on man, for one person to do all this and not deliver just another done-to-death retro-styled pixel art product is quite a feat. So my respects to Monster Tooth Studios and thank you for the early access Steam Key. So, you really want to help us out? Personally, I didn't think you had it in you. As with all my early access preview videos, I will keep my critiques to a minimum, as this really isn't a review and I don't feel right kicking a game and its dev team in the nuts over a game that's still in development. Although, when I think about it, nowadays, every game seems to be released unfinished, with update after update long after its initial release. But Dungeons of Adera, Early Access or not, Army of One indie developer or AAA is one impressive offering. I'm genuinely proud of this developer without even knowing this person. The Oswaris granted them their independence in return for an end to the fighting. Dungeons of Adera is described by the studio as a roguelite action RPG dungeon crawler featuring procedurally generated levels. But not to take a piss on the aforementioned genre, but it feels like so much more. I'm playing DOE and it feels like a mini Skyrim. Now relax Skyrim zealots, I said mini. DOE feels like such a refined experience, flaws and all. I've been playing the campaign and while the story doesn't grab me as one of the greats, I find myself totally hooked. Keep this up and we will be well on our way to getting some revenge on those damn dogs. The visuals are beautiful, in its own indie way. Character designs, level designs, animations, particle effects, attention to detail was respected here, and the music also adds to the experience. Yeah! The voice acting is more hit or miss, with some characters coming off as adequate, while others are just downright laughable. This does not bother me though, as I'll take some cheesy voice acting over text any day. Yeah, I'm not a subtitles movie kind of guy. He might be many things, my father, but loyal, honest, and always pays his debts is something not even I can fault him for. The progression system is so customizable, so utilizing the skill tree offers what feels like endless possibilities. <laughs> The companion system reminds me of the pet system in Torchlight games. Your AI partner is incredibly useful and has gotten me out of many tough spots. And the more you progress, the stronger and more capable your companions become. At first, I thought there were no cutscenes of any kind, and I was cool with this, it being an indie effort. But as the story opens up, you're treated to these comic book styled cutscenes, very nice. And when I say open up, that's all this game does constantly expands in impressive and unexpected ways. The dungeons I've been in so far are also well designed. You see, I prefer variety in my dungeon crawlers, where every dungeon doesn't have to be a literal dungeon, some dark, dingy, depressing cave. Your adventures will take you to distinctly different places that will offer you that much needed change in environment when your brain hungers for that proverbial breath of fresh air. Bow down before me. As far as I've seen, DOE does not offer native controller support for players like myself who do the whole PC console hybrid thing. I started out as primarily a console player, then later, much later, I was able to Frankenstein together a PC back in the days. And basically, that's what I've been doing since. So I'm all for a gamepad over a keyboard and mouse. Luckily, I was able to grab a copy of this amazing app back in the day before its creator passed called Pinnacle Game Profiler, an amazing app that allows you to play any PC game with a controller. So I'm able to play through DOE with an Xbox One controller, and it makes playing this so much better. I know PC purists are probably hovering over that dislike button as I speak, but whatever. Who do you think you are? The visuals are on point, so is the audio, the RPG elements, and thanks to PGP, so are the controls. This means I have basically no complaints. I'm truly loving my time with this game, and while I'm nowhere near completing the campaign, I can safely recommend this, as I only expect it to get better with each update. Check the description box for a link to DOE's Steam page and give it a shot. You will not regret it. <laughs> AAA games are all well and good, but many times, if you'd like a truly unique experience, one off the beaten path, then the indie scene is where you want to be. Show your support for independent game developers. Most, if not all, indie games are priced relatively low, 
Some are even free with the option to donate, so there's really no reason to pass. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If I pissed you off for some reason, then we all know where to find the various hate buttons, don't we? Either way, I won't hold it against you. Our game is never over. Oi, thanks. Glad you came along.